Hello everybody, today is January 25th, 2010, and today was quite an interesting day. Um, well, not really interesting. I just kind of got a lot of stuff done. Um, went around town and picked up my check from work, went to the bank, got paid, and then I also went online and picked up a microphone so I can be doing quality videos instead of crap videos. Well, good quality sound videos because my camera's okay on my eyesight audio isn't very good but the more interesting stuff comes from this weekend on Saturday actually Saturday I was working worked in the morning at 9 o'clock and I had a co-worker that didn't show up she was supposed to come in at 12 said she had pink eye or something she said she thought she had pink eyes so we're like okay well we don't have anybody to cover your shift, so you need to come in. Um, because we thought she was lying. We thought she was lying. It turns out she was, because she doesn't make the smartest decisions. So, she decided not to come in, and the other coworker thought she was going to come in, because I was working. I had one coworker that opened at 8 o'clock. I came in at 9 o'clock to help. The person at 8 o'clock was supposed to leave at. 12 o'clock, but stayed in until 1, and got picked up by the co-worker that said she had pink eye, and the one that said she had pink eye drove the one that opened home, and then she told her, the one that said she had pink eye said she was going to drive the one that opened, she said that she was going to go right back to work, because I needed her right away, because it's, <laughs> excuse me. Because I needed her right away because it was busy. So she never showed. Two o'clock rolled around. Where is she? Try calling her. Her phone was off. So it was really busy. So that's the only time I had to call. So I ended up calling my boss at two thirty-three, maybe three thirty. I don't even remember because it was so busy. So I called my boss and I'm like, "There's nobody here." To help me out. They never showed. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know if she's sick. So my boss came in to help me out. He lives 25 minutes away from me, half an hour away, away from work. And so they, he came in to help me out, and I, I felt really bad because he was, he was sick. He was actually sick. He was throwing up the day before. Wasn't feeling well. Turns out when I got off of work, I found out that my Coworker quit. That the person that opened in the morning is one of her sort of good friends, but not anymore. They're not friends anymore. But she had told her that she quit. And that really made me angry because I was supposed to get off at 2 o'clock. And I ended up having to be there till 6.30. And I was exhausted. Because I had to open the next day too at 9 o'clock. So that was my week, weekend. But today was better because I got paid. So I was like, yeah, money. Except the government took a uh, government and my retirement fund took a uh, hundred dollars out of my paycheck, and my paycheck was only four hundred dollars. So I got paid two ninety eight, which was for a ton of work. I busted my butt and got paid that much. But you know what? That's what all life goes. But I got a mic, so I'm gonna be making more videos. But with that mic, because I'll feel a lot better about my sound quality. So, here's my question for you guys. If you have a job, has that ever happened to you? Has somebody ever not shown up, got fired for it? Or has somebody not shown up and, like, it was unfair that they, they didn't show up because they didn't want to? Um... Did something happen to their car or something that they weren't able to show up and they got fired for, which is unfair because, you know, sometimes things, ha sometimes things happen. But leave your comments down below and let me know. So, that is my deal. I'm Noah from JBoyBlog, and it's time for me to get back on the arc now. Have a good day, guys.